It's hot. Let's get the workout done. We can tick it off the day and then we're going to feel better about ourselves. As always, what I always like to say is you don't need to do this workout standing up. You can always do this workout seated. You know, there's different levels of ability out there and you just need to cater for what suits your body. If you suffer from a medical issue of some sort, whether it be lung related, heart related, anything at all, always listen to your body. If you can't do an exercise, doesn't feel right, don't do it. And always go back to the basics. What I would say the basics are, if you're um, just average level of fitness, then you can just march on the spot. Nice and simple, okay? And you can always go back to this exercise. If that's a bit too much for you, you can just sit in a chair, you've had enough, and you can just step your legs out. Now what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to do a bit of boxing work up today. So in between each of our weights exercises, we're gonna do some boxing work. It's nothing, nothing massive, nothing drastic. Start with some nice backward circle of the shoulders. But all we're gonna do is keep the arms moving. You can work at a pace that suits you, but we're gonna do each in between bit for 30 seconds, all right? We're gonna do things like combinations. So you've got your one twos, you've got your three fours, five and six are a little bit lower, and then you've got your uppercuts. And depending on how fit you feel you are, you could do this for as, as fast as you want, or you can go a little bit slower. Let's take it to the chest stretch. Uh, we're gonna hands behind us, we're gonna push that chest down. I hope everyone's still coping well. I, I've lost track of what week we're in. You know, the weeks, they just go, the days go into the weeks, the weeks go into the months. For, and go forward circles. What normality was before, we've kind of got our own normality, haven't we? And it's a little bit, it's a little bit weird really. It's kind of um, getting used to backstretch, this different way of life. And wondering whether it's gonna go back to what normal was beforehand. I definitely hope we can get back to some normality because I love people and people classes. As you all know me, I love to talk. Big stretch up, big reach. And even though, you know, the, the online classes and these classes are great and it's a good alternative, you can't be person to person. Let's start by swinging those arms under and over. But the weather today is amazing. I could probably say training this morning I even felt hot. So it's probably one of the hottest days this year so far. So make the most of it. Get your vitamin D. Really, really important. And then we're going to take the right arm over the shoulder. Like so. Left arm coming underneath. Go to shoulder stretch. I didn't say this at the start, but you could do all of these stretches sat down. For example, I could be sat down now. Literally just march on my feet. I don't need to stand up at any point of the workout. All of this workout could be done sat in a chair. Take the left arm across the body. We're not making these workouts elitist. We're suiting for every level of ability. And even if you don't want to march, because that's too easy for you, you can jog on the spot. So it caters for everyone. And then we'll go for back of the arm stretch. So right hand, place at the back. And go for back arm stretch. If you feel like a nice stretch, just down here. So I'm actually allowed to do one-to-one -one outside personal training, which we're going to start in June. Change arms. Which is really good, that's quite exciting. All social distancing applies, but it's nice to get back to actually like being at football. When I get back to it in June, to training people on a one-to-one -one basis, which makes me think that group stuff will be coming soon. And we go, toes facing forwards, bend that right knee. If you sat in the chair, just march your feet out. Yeah, it makes me think that um, group stuff will be allowed very soon. And I think in the next month or so, that's what I'm predicting, and change sides. So, members of Bridport, Dorchester, Weymouth, we haven't forgotten about you, don't worry. We're all, we've got a nice plan set out. And the idea is to offer um, outside training, first of all. Let's go for some knee bends. If you can't do the knee bends in the chair, just do marching on the spot. And um, we're out and in. Yeah, we're gonna go for some outside training first. So basically, the stuff we're doing now, but you come down to the field. So we've always got large areas in every place we do our sessions and we do it outdoors, weather permitting. 
and keep it outdoors for as long as possible. And I think then towards the end of the year, when it gets a bit colder, go indoors. You can afterwards let me know what you think about that, comment below. If you like the idea of that, hopefully you do. Good, right, front of the thigh stretch. Grab hold of the ankle, like so, if that's too much. Place your knee on the chair, and we can do the hip stretch. Then we're gonna change sides. And from there, we're going to bum kick it. So, what we're going to do, hold the mantelpiece and then flick those legs behind us. So you can either increase the pace if you sat down the chair, or to increase the pace of the marches. You can just go for a faster march, or you can go for a slightly jog, or you can go faster with the jog, it's entirely up to you. So you feel, let's go for some bicep curls to warm the arms up with. And then we're gonna flap like a bird up and down. And from there, we're gonna push and pulling. Spot on. Raise the roof up and down. Keep those arms going. And give it all a good shake off. And let's get into the workout. So what we're gonna do today is some weights, whether they be tins of beans, bottles of water, or dumbbells. And I'm gonna take you through the first exercise. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do 20 reps of just marching on the spot with bicep curls. And in between that, in the break, we're either just going to march on the spot, or if you want to follow me, we're going to do some boxing. So we're just going to do some one twos, okay? Out in front of us for 30 seconds, back into that exercise. We're going to do three repeats of that. Now, you can do exactly the same sat in the chair, up and down, for 20 reps, and then you can do boxing out in front of you. So you can do everything sat down. I might not always tell you each workout, but you can always do the seated version. Now, when you're ready, Let's get into it. So we're going to do 20 reps. If you find 20 reps too much, you can stop at 10, because the weight might be a bit too heavy for you. You can stop at five. You can stop at 15, 18, whatever you want to stop at. Now, if you stop at there, you can just keep marks on the spot and wait till I finish, and then go to the boxing. That's halfway. 13. 19, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, Perhaps your partner annoyed you last night. You can imagine it's them, a bit of shadow boxing. <laughs> Keep those arms going, these are the one twos. Keep the feet marching and rest there. Now you may need a breather, but I'm gonna get straight into the workout. Keep trying to keep up if you can. But if you need a break at any point, you can always grab a drink of water. Right, shoulders back. Let's go for those arm curls. We're going for 20. As you can see, my elbows are locked into the side free. Fourteen, good. Fifteen, keep those elbows in nice and tight. Five more.
five, perfect. Right, let's pop those down. And then when you're ready, go back into our Rocky Balboas. Three, two, one, let's go. Boxing, great, great cardiovascular workout. Gets your heart rate up. Work some coordination as well, because you're doing the left and the right. Working your arms, working your legs. You're just doing everything with boxing, it's amazing. Big deep breaths in for the nose, up for the mouth. Good. Right, back in again. Last one, and you're 20. Good stuff. Right, back into your boxing. Three, two, one, and let's go. Whole idea is we're trying to keep moving for the full 30 seconds. It doesn't really matter what you do. And people tend to overcomplicate things. They tend to think, you've got to do this exercise, you've got to do that exercise. You can just dance around your room if you want to, put the music on, and just dance around the room. If that makes you happy, and that's what you enjoy doing, do that, okay? If you enjoy doing a bit of boxing and a bit of weights, absolutely great. If you enjoy the other workouts, perfect. Keep doing those ones. But as long as you are moving, that's the most important thing. Right, that is your first exercise complete. So your second exercise, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna do reverse lunges. Now, remember, be careful. If you're not used to going backwards and you feel unstable, don't do it instead. You do your forward exercise instead. So your forward steps can be literally just stepping forwards and back. Can you see I'm barely even bending my knees? However, if you want to go lower, you can. So what you can do is you can go lower, halfway, or right down. Listen to your body though. I can't stress that enough, all right? So we're going to do 20 of those, 10 inch leg. I'm just going to do a half bend. You don't even need the weight if you don't want to. If you're in the chair, because you don't want to do that exercise, you can just do alternate arm, and leg the whole time. All right, so I'm not gonna use the weights. I'm gonna stick going forward today, just not confuse people, and we're gonna turn each side. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, I've got the mantelpiece here, I can hold on to it any time. Two, three, four. If you wanna go lower, you can, it's entirely up to you. Routine, good work. Nineteen and last one. That is twenty. Right. So rather than do our jabs this time, we're going to do our hooks. So literally, we're just going to left, right. So we're going to keep trying to step, and we do our left, right. I find stepping a bit uncomfortable with this one, so I'm just going to keep my feet still. I'm just going to do arms. Three, two, one. Let's go. So hook. Hook, that's literally what you're doing, okay? Now, if you want to speed up, you can. Remember, you're trying to twist your torso a bit, get some rotation in your body. Go at your own pace. You could do this sat in the chair. And you can work faster. You can work your arms as fast as you want to, get your heart rate up, or you could slow it down and just do a little bit slower, but make sure you've got those rotations in there, okay? Yeah, cool, yeah. And rest there. Right, back in the lunges again, okay, everyone? So, shoulders back and down, nice and upright. We have 20 reps. Let's go. Good. So, big thing sometimes lunges may hurt people's knees, especially as we're getting older. We're getting wear and tear on the body. What you'll find is that's number eight. Just gotta remember the count nine and seven and a half white. But 
If lunges don't suit you, just stick to your sit, sit to stands, okay? Sit to stands are amazing exercise. And it's not putting double weight on each leg. Eighteen. Eighteen. And twenty. Right, let's go for our hooks. So remember, we're going for our three fours, okay? So three, two, one, time is on. Go left, right, keep twisting. Keep rotating. Twist that body. If you played your back up a little bit, what you can do is just do your jabs instead. It's nice and hot today, so make sure you do drink plenty of water during your workout, and especially after your workout as well. Spot on. Right, back of the lunges again, and let's go. So as your body gets stronger, and you're doing this more often, your knees and hips, they will get better, okay? But if you've done a lot of sport at a young age, and you've worn your body out, your body may not move as it used to. That's your 10. So you just have to adapt it a little bit, and just see what suits your body. 13, 14, 15. Nineteen, last one, and twenty. Right, back into your hooks. You can grab a drink if you need to, and let's go. If you're working out with a partner, make sure you've got plenty of space between you. Last thing you want to do is you want to hook them in the face. Wouldn't be a good day. There we go. Right, that is your exercise two complete. So exercise number three, we are doing our shoulder presses. Okay, so all we're gonna do is up and down, raise the roof for our shoulder presses. I get a few clicks in the, the elbows, but don't worry about that, as long as it's not painful. You can do that sat down, and you can do exactly the same. All right, so are you ready? Let's go for our 20 reps, up and down. You remember what I said before in the workouts is that if you're finding you're leaning back to compensate because you haven't got much mobility in shoulders, you could just do your lateral raise instead. We'll count our six reps. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 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 Nineteen and twenty. Good stuff. Right, so we're going to go for hooks again. We're going to aim for the body now, a little bit lower, okay? So we're going to soften the knees a little bit, and we're going to go for our 30 seconds. We're literally going to go lower. So before we're up here, now we're lower. So we bend the knees a little bit. Okay, we're still twisting the body. Keep rotating. Remember, we're working the core the whole time, and you can speed the arms up, you can make it really, really fast, or you can just slow it down depending on how you feel. But you've got a slight bend in your knee the whole time. Right, back in to your dumbbells. Back in for 20 reps, up and down. Remember I said before, if you can only do five reps, that's absolutely fine. You can just stop and march on the spot. If you want to do more, that's great, six. And 20, good stuff. Right, back in that slight bend with the knees. And 30 seconds. We are off, let's go. Stay low, remember. Try and have that little bit of a partial squat. Twist that body.
Big deep breaths. Rest there, we're going for our third set of this down. Straight to our shoulder presses. And let's go. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good. You pleased to know? That's the last bit of weight to what you're doing. We've got no exercise, but it's more cardio based. We're back into our low hooks. Let's go. Thirty seconds. We're off. And we stay low, little bend with the knees, little bob. Nice big deep breaths in for the nose, out for the mouth. Feeling a bit light headed or dizzy. Remember, you can always drink some water, it's really hot today. So make sure you keep drinking. And we're going to rest there. Right, your last exercise is going to be star jumps. Now, your options of star jumps are you've got a step out, okay? Like so. That's option number one. Option number two is a little hop out. Okay, 20 reps. Now, if you're in the chair, you're not getting away with it. You're going to step out. You can still do modified star jumps. You've got option one, two, three. Okay, now I'm going to go for option one just because if I go too fast, I don't want anyone to keep up the workout. So if you want to do the jumping out ones, just keep going until I stop. 20 reps in three, two, one. Start with the right leg. One. Two, good, three, five, eight, nine, ten to space, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good. Now uppercuts, alright? Little bend with the knees. We keep marching on the spot and we we'll do uppercuts for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. The palms are facing in. We're just going up like this, okay? Nice and quick. If you want to slow it down, you can. If you want to speed up, you can really get the feet going and move those arms really, really quick. We always talk about the RP scale, remember? How hard do you feel you're working? So for this group, the workout you should be aiming for is a maximum of a seven, okay? You should be a bit short breath, barely breathing, be all right. Here she comes. And my assistant, and rest there. Right, we're back in the star jumps, okay? And here come the dogs. Right, everyone. We are ready for exercise, well, round number two. Let's give 20 reps, and let's go. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Thirty seconds into the uppercut. Let's go. March on a spot. Keep those hands moving. You can't get the coordination right. Literally, don't use the feet. Just, just move the arms. Move the arms. Sometimes working with the feet makes it a little bit confusing for coordination. But I think that's great. Get your brain working. First thing in the morning. That's what we want to see. It's great you're working out at ten o'clock because. As the day goes on, it's only going to get hotter. You're not going to want to work out late at night or the afternoon. It's been way too hot. So let's get this workout complete. We'll feel much better for it. Round number three, back in our star jumps. Three, two, one, we're off. So one. Six. Seven. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good stuff. Let's finish off with some thirty seconds of those uppercuts. Remember, use your feet if you want to. Don't have to. Remember, you can do this sat in the chair. Keep those palms facing you. Really, really up. Nice and quick with the body. Keep yourself moving all the time. A few more left. Keep working. You're doing great back home.
Little bit longer, nearly there. And I'm gonna stand. There you go, that was a workout. That was a little boxing based circuit for you. Put myself in the eye. A little boxing based um, circuit for you. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you enjoyed the change. We all try off something different all the time. But remember, we're not done quite yet. Make sure you drink some water and then join me in March on the spot. We're gonna have a nice cool down. So as I always say, you can do the cool down sat in the chair, you can do the cool down standing up, it doesn't matter, okay? What matters is you joined in and you took part. The most important thing is that you did something, okay? There are so many days when I wake up in the morning, like today for example, uh, my alarm went off at 20 past six, and the last thing I wanted to do was train. I, couldn't, I didn't want to do it, all right? Nice backward circle in the shoulders. However, I dragged myself out on this mat here, right? And I did my 10 minutes of yoga, which I do every single day without fail. Once that was a bit looser, I drank a pint of water, and I thought, right, ready to train. So, 27, train straight away, done by half, well, 27, done by half seven, and then I went for a big walk with the dogs. Let's go chest stretch, push up chest out, big walk with the dogs, did 10,000 steps, done a little bit of work. This video now, back to work, and then I'm gonna finish about half 12 probably, have a bit of lunch, and then we'll go down the beach. Uh, nice forward circle with the shoulders. Let's take it a back stretch, nice big reach forward. Uh, nice big stretch in the air. And then we take the right arm across the body, we're going to take the shoulder stretch. Change arms. What is Bex going to do this question? I'm going to do protein blondies, so it's a brownie that's doing blondies. She's doing protein blondies. What, what contains a protein blondies? Um, Keep marching everyone. Yeah. Well, instead of it being chocolate, it's white. Well, so how do you make the whiteness from it? You just put no cocoa powder in it. Oh, right. <laughs> or chocolate. Okay. I put chocolate bits in it and cut some chocolate through in it. And raspberry. You heard it here first. I'm giving this a go. Yeah. Right, let's go for front of the thigh stretch. Use the chair for balance if you need to. Or remember, you can use the chair for the stretch. And when you're ready, we're going to change legs. And then we'll go back in the thigh stretch, everyone. So right leg in front of the left. Keep that right leg nice and straight. A nice recommendation ready when we go for a walk. If the gate's shut, it's probably shut for a reason. We, um, we went through the gate and started walking down, we got halfway down and realised the whole field had been renewed. And you change legs. And Beck's had to wash all the dogs down. And they still smell now, don't they? Yeah, they still smell a bit of mum. Sure. And then when you're ready, everyone, let's just finish off with a nice big deep breath in. We're going to reach up to the ceiling. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Last one, nice big deep in. And a nice big deep breath out. Give yourself a round of applause. Hope you enjoyed that workout. It definitely got a sweat on for me.